Alrighty guys, it is Qua Man here today and I'm bringing you part 11 of my Dragon Ball Z Legacy of Goku 2 playthrough where in the most recent episode I was Piccolo, the legendary Namekian and we kicked Dr. Jero's ass and sent his little old ass back to his fucking lab. So let's have some fun today guys. Let's go do some more damage to those androids. Alright, so let's see. We're flying over to the northeast, as Bulma said. Let's get in this. Alright. Now, let's do a little bit of thinking here, guys. Piccolo is level 19. Currently, he's actually stronger than Vegeta in all categories besides endurance. And Gohan is level 10. Now, considering the fact that Gohan gets a lot more playing time than others, Leads me to believe that it would be safe to use Piccolo because obviously I really want to use Piccolo, he's my favorite character. But logically, because of the fact that Gohan is essentially half the level of Piccolo and Vegeta, that means he's going to be super weak by the time I play with him later on in the game. Which basically means it's smart enough for me to use Piccolo. But, at the same time, I gotta give the kids some playtime. So I will play as Gohan. Psych! I'm playing with Piccolo, everybody. You know it. I'll train with Gohan off the screen. Piccolo's the best character in this game. I don't care if Vegeta can go Super Saiyan. I'm playing with Piccolo, baby. There's no better character than Piccolo. <laughs> yes, I said it. Even Gohan. Maybe when he turns Super Saiyan 2, he's almost as cool, but... <laughs> nothing can stop Piccolo. Look at me just killing these werewolves. Look at this. Or warthogs, I should say. Look at all that meat. All of that meat. All of that meat. Look at that, guys. Look at all of this. Piccolo did this, guys. Piccolo got that golden capsule with just one hand. It's all about Piccolo. Now, I know some of you guys are probably thinking I'm going crazy, but I'm just having some fun with you guys. All right, now let's speed up these purple snakes. Never seen a purple snake before. Except uh, in Pokemon, if you know what I mean. I think Ekans and Arbuck are purple if I remember correctly. Obviously not shiny if you count them. Can somebody in the comment section tell me, I don't feel like looking it up, um, what color is Ekans and Arbuck when they're shiny? Because I'm probably going to forget I said this in the playthrough. So <laughs> I'd really appreciate it if you remind me in the comment section. I only need one person to do it. So it doesn't matter to me. Alright, now let's look at these hawks or birds or whatever these things are here ah crap crap uh, all right got all those birds out the way now I have three blasts hmm. okay so should keep being up on these warthogs and progressing oh wow all right, all right, you guys got me. You just want to be blown up with the special beam cannon, right? You just want to be blown up with that special beam cannon. I get your picture. All right, let's see. Doing pretty good here. Ah, oh, what a cool attack. Special beam cannon! Eats up a lot of energy, but it is so cool to use. Like how it just sticks right through the opponent. Like like the Kamehameha, like it pushes him back, but the special beam cannon goes through him for crying out loud. Look at that, guys. Look at that. See, guys, I kind of have to enjoy my time playing with Piccolo because when I do my Boo's Fury playthrough, I am not going to get any chance to play with Piccolo. So I got to enjoy my chances now. Yes, they were they were being very racist to Namekians in Boo's Fury and made it only the five Saiyans that you can play with. Oh, here he is, Dr. Jiro. You're trying to find... <clears throat> You're trying to find my secret lab, aren't you? Even if you find it, you'll never get inside. Oh yeah? Kick your old ass right now. Look at you. You don't even have your hat anymore. Come on, come on, come on. Wanna mess with me? Now I can't use any energy attacks because he just absorbs it and essentially just heals from it. But this is how you beat old people. <laughs> You use a Namek to do it. Alright, let's see. What's next here? Little squirrel. Can't do anything about it. Hmm. Who needs a Super Saiyan when you have a Namek? Look at this little purple guy here. 
Boom! Just killed him. Yo, you want to throw your little bombs? Boom. Alright, Piccolo's level 21. Alright, so let's move up out of here. I guess that's... I think that's Goku's color. I think Goku's orange on this game. Piccolo's obviously green. Gohan's light blue. I think Vegeta's dark blue. And I think Trunks is purple. Alright, so let's see. Hey, Piccolo! It looks like this energy barrier is being supplied by the three generators in the area. The only way to get through is to destroy these generators. Where the hell is Bulma saying this? <laughs> Alright. Now, guys... This is gonna. I'm gonna about to enter one of the most annoying parts of Dragon Ball Z Legacy of Goku 2. I remember it ever since I was a kid. This is the point of the game where I have to move three eggs from a dinosaur. But before I do that, I just realized something. I want to learn those new attacks by Master Roshi. So let's get out of here real quick. Yes, guys, this is gonna be really annoying, and I have to be as good as I possibly can. It's going to be super annoying. Now, what sucks is that I can't even attack when I have it on. I should use Vegeta to move those eggs because Super Saiyan is faster. But I want to use Piccolo. Yes, guys. I want. I know you might be thinking I'm, oh, I am such a Piccolo fan. But, I mean, the Saiyans get so much playing time on this game anyways. You got to give me a break, right? All right. All right, let's see. Alright, so let's get out of here. Alright, so... Just using my special beam cannon. Getting some energy. I need to get some health. I should eat these little birds. <laughs> yes. What I don't like about this game is on Legacy of Goku 2, there's so many unguardable attacks. Like, when those hawks seek in to hit me, they move so fast I really can't do much about it. Alright, let's see. Getting my health back. Alright, level 22. Doing pretty good here. Alright, so let's keep moving on. Destroy those boulders. Now, let's kill these little hawks again. These things are super annoying. Alright. Alright, so let's keep killing these things over here. Alright, got that out of the way. Destroyed that snake. Alright. I can save, but it doesn't really matter. And let's go back to Master Roshi's place. I'll make this really quick. Because I want Gohan, if I decide to use him, to get that power up too. Oh my goodness, Gohan's going to be so weak. He's going to be so weak. <laughs> <laughs> all right let's see all right master roshi's island all right now let's use gohan let's teach him that technique i think he has like a double jump kick if i remember correctly all right all right so i learned the super kick by gohan and i think piccolo has like a spin punch or something if i remember correctly and also, I remember, like, uh, for Goku and Trunks, like, they already come with, like, their melee attack. I just realized, why did I switch into Gohan when I was already Piccolo? I could have just went to Piccolo and then switched out into Gohan. Waste of a couple of seconds, but it's fine with me. I'm sure you guys don't mind. Alright. So I at least want to get to one of those generators by the time I finish this playthrough episode. Okay... Let's fly back. Let's go back to this northern wastelands or whatever. I'm going to probably ignore some of these monsters in the beginning. It's just going to take so much time to kill them anyways. And it's not like if I leave they're gonna not going to come back. I only kill the ones in my way. Alright. So as I mentioned before guys in one of my earlier episodes. don't remember exactly which one. Every character is better at one natural category. So as you see here, Piccolo is good with power. Gohan is good with power too. And Vegeta is actually a physical guy, but he's good with endurance and power. So as you can see, Vegeta has naturally more endurance than the more, all the characters. 
which I'm sure we can all agree makes the most sense because Vegeta has taken some ass kicking in Dragon Ball Z. I mean, he has gotten his ass kicked by every major villain. Tell me, guys, tell me what major villain has not beaten up Vegeta in Dragon Ball Z. He even got beat up by Beerus if you want to go with non-canon for crying out loud. Every major villain that Vegeta has been involved in a fight with, he has gotten whooped to. Yes, guys, every single one. All of the major villains. Now, if you really think about it, Goku has gotten beaten up a lot too. Goku did get beaten up by Frieza. He didn't really get beaten up much by Cell. Majin Buu, Goku really held his own with, so I wouldn't say Goku got beaten up a lot by Majin Buu. But, I mean, as compared to, like, Vegeta? <laughs> Goku's not... Goku hasn't gotten beaten up that much, and it's funny because Goku's been in, like, the entire series. So he's had, like, more time to get beaten up. But Vegeta's such a cool character, though. We all love the Sand Prince. Alright, so, level 23. Alright, let's see how we move these generators. I always like to start off right, don't know why, but right is always right to me. Now what sucks about these stupid robots is that when, when they're about to explode they blow up and like you can't really move you know at any point to uh, actually <laughs> save yourself from the explosion. Alright so this one seems pretty easy I just pop three and then one of the generators goes down. So that, gate, that takes care of one generator. Let's move more to the east. Alright, <clears throat> Dr. Jiro, I won't let you get into my lab. Nothing you can do will stop me from activating Android 17 and 18. Oh yeah? <laughs> Where's the Falconer music? I guess they didn't play it for me fighting uh, Jiro again. Ah, oh, crap. Well, I like the resistance. Aw, oh, crap. Alright. Alright, I get you, Jiro. Man, I'm gonna have to save here, guys, because I might die. Yes, guys, I know. This is slightly cheating. I understand that. But I gotta save. Alright. Because you never know with this game. I mean, just one couple of hits and I'm almost dead already. Come on, go away, Jiro. Go away. Alright, I sent him away. So I can just save right here again. Alright. Let me move my little cursor off the screen. Alright. Let's see what we have here. Gara. Oh, man, all these robots! I'm gonna have to use a lot of projectile attacks. I like the special beam cannon, but it eats up so much energy, I'm sure we'd all agree. Alright. Alright, let's see, where's the next generator? Yeah, I'm gonna have to stick with these... Kai Blast if I'm gonna... Or I should say Key Blast, Kai Blast, whatever. <laughs> Alright. So many of these things. I mean, seriously, like, who planted all these random robots in this area? <laughs> all right, let's see. So different. Oh man, I gotta go back. Ugh. It's a lot more accurate using energy blast though, as compared to special beam cannon. Like special beam cannon, like you get it like in one nice direct hit, and it just eats them up. But I mean. Kai costs a lot on this game, especially at this point in the game. Like once you get to like your level 30s, like Kai is like almost no longer a factor. All right, I hate using physical attacks. See, I was like, I have like no response time to get out of the explosion. All right, come on, please level up. Ah, oh, yes, got all my health back. Oh, wow. All right, let's see. Now what I'm going to try to do on this game is I'm going to try to be as realistic as possible when it comes to like actually playing with characters um, in real fights. Like for example on this game once you fight the androids I'll give you a little bit of a secret. You can actually choose who you want to fight 
18 with. So, I can choose between Gohan, Vegeta, and Piccolo, and I'm actually going to fight 18 with Vegeta to be, you know, more realistic. Whoa, what the hell happened here? So many fucking guys. Just flurry them up with some Key Blast, Piccolo. Oh, man. Alright, I guess there was nothing else to the, to the east. Let me check my scouter. Wait, there was an area I didn't go through. I'll check that before I end this episode. Alright, let's see. Let's move over to the east. See what we have. <sighs> Man, I hate getting juggled by multiple enemies. Oh, whoa, are you kidding me? Do you see what I have to go through now? Oh my goodness. This is going to be a nightmare. You know, when I was a kid, I really didn't think of using Energy Blast this much. <laughs> but, that's the benefit of playing these games when you're older. You think a lot better. Alright, so this is where the dinosaur cracks were. When I wanted the dinosaur to relocate. Alright, let's move up here. Look at these little tiger bandits, just blow them up, move on, let's go off the top here and see if there's anything. I'm going to just stop it at the next save point. Alright, let's see, is there anything up here? Okay, I remember there was one with like a switch that you had to get. Eh, you know, don't know where I'm going to find this. Alright, there it is. <clears throat> Gotta talk to the dinosaur. Alright, let's see. You know what, guys? Just to be funny, I remember how this goes. There are three different ways that the dinosaur will talk to you. If you talk to the dinosaur with Gohan, he'll be super nice. If you talk to the dinosaur with Piccolo, he'll be in the middle. If you talk to the dinosaur with Vegeta, he will be a dick. So let's talk to her with Vegeta just to see what he says. <laughs> I remember this scene. Alright. I'm feeling merciful today. I'll give you a minute to move your nest because I'm about to blow up this generator. Brontosaurus, this is my our home, you're heartless. You try my patience, creature. The fact of the matter is that this generator needs to be destroyed. And whether or not you want to be here when it happens is up to you. I won't move. Very well, then I'll give you up the, the count of three. One... Two, three. <laughs> Sigh, having a son is making me soft. Alright, here is what I propose. I will help you move your eggs to a new location. It would be wise of you to accept my offer. You know, you don't have to be so rude. I was planning on moving to the bottom of this mountain anyways. I will start building a new nest on the heat vent as long as you help me move my eggs. Just place them on the cracks for now. And please try not to break them. Alrighty guys, so <laughs> looks like got the dinosaur to move and I told you guys I only had one shot with this So using Vegeta was the smartest now What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna end this right here because this is probably gonna be Multiple takes into moving this hopefully I get it right But using Vegeta being Super Saiyan allows me to move at a much faster rate So I honestly think it would help I appreciate you guys checking out this new Legacy of Goku 2 playthrough episode 11 and please stay tuned for episode 12 where I have a hellish time moving eggs so please remember to rate comment and subscribe and remember as I always say to have a great day guys.